Hi and welcome to our instructional video for how to walk with crutches and what gait patterns to use. One of our first gait patterns is for persons with significant balance deficits and they will need to use a four point gait. A four point gait simply names the amount of points that are in contact with the ground at all times. I'm going to demonstrate a four point gait first walking away from the camera and then walking back too. So I will be turning. One of the first things that you need to understand about a four point gait is it always is initiated with the crutch. So I'm going to begin from a lateral view so you, that you can see this, but I will begin my four point gait by moving my right crutch first. If I move my right first, my right crutch first, my left leg will follow. And then my left and then my right foot. And so I am keeping four points of contact with the ground at all times. And you can see from a lateral view exactly what we're saying by the fact that this is for a person with significant balance deficits. So we're going to walk away from the camera and back to so that you can see it in full view, crutch, foot, 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 crutch, foot. That is a four point gait with axillary crutches. Now let's move to a patient who would have some balance deficits but not as strong and this person will be uh, a person who is moving closer to the walking phase uh, and is actually relearning how to, normal, uh, to normally walk and so we're going to look at this as a two-point gait and so from the side I will start and this actually mimics the walking pattern closer than any other uh, crutch ambulation. And what it does is we will start with the foot and the crutch together. So it looks like this. One, two. One, two. Coming back, you'll see from the side. One, two. One, two. Let me walk away. Coming back to the camera, again, everything looks the same. And as you can see, I will need more balance because I actually have a swing phase in my gait. The next and more advanced gait pattern is the three-point gait pattern. Now, this is very common when someone has a weight-bearing deficit. Uh, their balance is intact, but they cannot put full weight on an extremity. And so a three-point gait simply looks like this. Crutches with the bad leg, and I'm swinging to or swinging through. That's a swing to. On the way back, I would like to perform a swing through. Now I will perform a three-point gait pattern with partial weight bearing. And this is when we are trying to normalize a person back into weight bearing. Perhaps their weight bearing uh, has increased and the position is okay with that. And so what that will look like from the side is
And hopefully you appreciated the fact that at my left extremity was my involved extremity and the one that I was using for partial weight bearing. If you have any questions, make sure you email me or let me know. See you soon.